Heads up, GI nerds. Incoming. Geonutes, where are we today? We're in a limber, north of Caboolture, north of Brisbane, and we're here because Linda invited us to a limber to have a look at the geology, and we're going to. So if you dig the vibe, like and subscribe, let's, let's rock. rock. Well, there we are, folks, flying out across the north side, just left the pathetic wheel of Brisbane. But we're out of 3D country now, look out. We're heading up to a little town called Ilimba. And uh, this was requested by one of my viewers called Linda. And uh, it's a beautiful little place. When I had a look at the geology, it is really very interesting. So there's the little uh, hamlet town down there, if you like, village. And look at all these lumps, eh? Well, they are all trachyte inclusions from the East Coast hotspot activity. And uh, however, Elimba itself is on the Landsper Sandstone. It's actually on a little peninsula of it right there. And you can see where they've been doing a bit of construction there. It definitely the sandstone looking country, and it certainly is. So the thing that marks Elimba is mainly, I suppose, the railway station. Before that, it was just a, an outpost, and there it is there. Let's have a look at the geology. Well, folks, we're cruising in here. Everything you can see in dark green is Landsborough sandstone. The light green and the yellowy colour is gravels and uh, alluvial deposits. And the red are trachyte intrusions. So there's Mount, um, well, Saddleback or, um, it's got a few names. Just looking through here, here's the, the way it goes. The Landsborough sandstone's always been cut by rivers. There's Mount Mickety Bumblebry there. And uh, the other guys over the back there, and um, of course Mount Alimba or the Saddleback, whichever. Uh, and here's Alimba there, the railway line going through, and you can see it's on a little peninsula of the Landsborough Sandstone. Let's have a look at a bit more detail. Well folks, here's a map of the area. I thought I'd bring up the geology just to give you a 2D look, so you can see Alimba on that. Uh, little finger of sandstone there and you can see those intrusions round mountain and mount Sa the saddleback or mount alimba there's something interesting i thought i'd bring up the magnetics for you just to show you that uh, round mountain's actually the star of the show down there there's your uh, uh magnetic so that is the magnetic poles are pointing a different direction in the rocks there they were frozen when the earth's magnetic field was somewhere else this is a fairly wide shot. I've done this to give you an idea that the, the uh, that purple is the Brisbane Shales going right up there and there's Granite Diorites. But the interesting thing is down here, this is this green stripe. This is a serpentinite vein. If you've got my video on the Mount Me Asbestos Mine, that get covered in that. So here we are over near, uh, we'll call it Mount Mike. Uh, just to give you an overview, it's, I think it's a lovely place, it really is. Like the bugger actually lives on the side of that mountain, I can't believe that. Anyway, Jurassic, early Jurassic, that's your Landsborough Sandstone, 200 million years, rounding it off. And of course, uh, it's a beautiful piece of sandstone. It's just, and it's huge. It's, this is the Nambour Basin, it's enormous. Your, uh, all your volcanic intrusions are around there, about 22, 23 million years ago. They didn't happen overnight. This, this stuff went on for quite some time. You don't build these mountains in a week. So yeah, it's, the, it's really nice. It builds this beautiful flat countryside with these big lumps. There's old uh, beer in the background. They're also made out of track on I might add. So, 
There's a lot of this sandstone. You know, this is just on the east coast. There's also some over on the west coast. This is uh, what's called a, um, it's a glyph. It's a xenolith. It's actually a rock contained inside the sandstone picked up. You've also got these things in that sandstone. Fossils, same up in Ipswich, very similar rock formation, similar age. This is actually the trachyte. This stuff is tough. People will be walking on this and it sets hard. So it, that's why they're mountains. Here's some more of it. As you can see, it weathers to a gray and it, it'll actually oxidize to red. Here's, of course, uh, Mount Mike in the 1920s. Hasn't changed much, probably eroded a bit, not much. And here's the old uh, Biwa in the 1920s again. But as you can see, trachyte, same stuff. Amazing gear. So here we go, here's a cadastral map. This is from about the 1920s of the little township um, of Ember. And as you can see, there's some names there. If you're a local, it's probably, your name's probably on there. This is from 1958. Um, just to get you, you know, there's the town itself with the railway station, the Landsborough Road there. Um, this is uh, Round Mountain. Um, this is uh, Saddleback or Mount um, Elimba. But this is the old Gimpy Road, and probably not a surprise to you locals, but everyone else, this is the original road. It's just a bush track in 1958. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it was like that for quite some time, actually. So the original uh, Alimba station, best photo I could find of it, I apologise. Alimba was uh, once referred to by another name. Uh, it took on this name in the early 1900s, 1902 or something like that. So you're just lucky that this is the name of your town because this was the original name of your town and it just isn't anywhere near as sexy because that's what the railway station was called, 36 miles and 68 chains. But it is a beautiful part of the world. Grows an absolute metric crap ton of pineapples, as you can see. Um, there's Mount Mike. There's all the other mounts, the glass house mounts. They're all very much the same age. It's just a beautiful part of Australia. So thank you for Linda for asking me to have a look at this because it was fun. And remember, if you dig the vibe, like and subscribe. And don't forget to keep, keep rocking. T-Rocks out. out.